Hey, what's going on? It's Daniel Gillespie here with UponArriving.com. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Amex Auto Purchasing Program and whether or not it's worth it to use if you're trying to buy a new vehicle. So before you jump in, yes, I have been MIA on the YouTube channel. I've really been focusing on the blog, which is primarily what I do online. Uh, but I've also been working on a new online platform that I think is going to make it a lot easier to optimize and also manage your credit cards for both beginners and people who are really advanced into credit card rewards. So I'm still in the development stages of this product, but if you wanna find out more about it, you can check the link in the description below. I'm also still looking for more beta testers. So if you wanna give it a shot, you can find my email address in that article, shoot me an email, and just say, hey, you know, I'm interested in beta testing this. Okay, so what is the Amex Auto Purchasing Program? Where it's basically an online portal that you can access that can do a few things. First, you can view prices for nearby dealerships for specific vehicles, and also look at the average price that other people paid in your nearby communities. You can also capitalize on special discounts and perks related to your purchase, which I'll get into more below. And finally, all of these dealerships are going to accept American Express cards at least up to $2,000 for your purchase. Now, some might actually allow you to put the entire purchase on your Amex card, but most are gonna just guarantee at least $2,000 that you can put on like a down payment toward the vehicle. Now, this portal is powered by TrueCar, and what TrueCar does is they provide dealerships with uh, potential customers' contact information, and the dealerships in turn provide them with data on the purchase price of these vehicles. And the Amex Auto Purchasing Program is basically just Amex's version of TrueCar. So before jumping in into how to use the portal, you might be wondering how much you can actually save if you choose to use this portal. Well, Amex states that between July and September of 2016, that users saved an average of $3,272 off of the MSRP price. Now this looks really exciting at first because to the average reader, they may think that, oh, I can save over three grand just by using this portal but that's just three grand off the MSRP price, right? So a lot of dealerships will provide you with discounts that may even exceed that, which I'll talk about more below. So don't get too excited whenever you see this statistic on the Amex webpage, because you're gonna wanna look a little bit deeper into the discounts. Okay, so how does the Amex auto purchasing program work? Well, I'm gonna walk you through this really quickly just to show you the basic steps, and then I'll talk more about some of the things like the discounts and pricing. Okay, so this is the main page that you can find. Um, you can find the link to get here in the article below. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna enter in the type of make, either for a new or used car. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go with a new car. And I'm just gonna search with what I actually drive, which is Jeep, and enter in my zip code. So it just takes a second to uh, populate, and you'll see the different types of models. So in this case, um, I actually am gonna go with the Jeep Grand Cherokee, even though this Gladiator here looks pretty interesting. Um, but this just takes a second, and now you can actually select some of your preferences, um, you know, diesel, gas, you can also skip these, um, you know, four-wheel drive, colors. Now, one thing about this, I wouldn't spend a lot of time on these preferences because in the search results, it's not gonna limit you to only the specific criteria that you selected. So um, you don't have to spend a lot of time on this. So that just took, you know, a couple of seconds to enter in my preferences, and then right off the bat, you can see the vehicle um, MSRP price listed, the market average, um, and it kind of explains to you what they mean by this. And you can't see the member pricing yet. So member pricing is gonna be the actual prices that you find at the local dealerships. There is a way for you to select um, some potential incentives. So in this case, you can view up to, you know, here's 10 incentives. Of course, not all of these are going to apply, but this wouldn't be a bad thing to maybe take a screenshot of this list and then possibly contact your dealership or at least whenever you actually arrive at the dealership to have this list on hand to inquire about any of these incentives you may qualify for. So if you keep scrolling down, you can see what other people paid in your area. So in this case, my zip code was Houston. So I can see the um, market average. I can see the MSRP and the um, 
the pricing for this portal, so which is below the market average. So um, this is you know pretty useful information. You can also look at some other things um, like uh, you know some used car pricings, look at photos, some specs, and things along those lines. So it's kind of a handy way to search for vehicles. But obviously, to get the most value out of this, you're going to want to actually get the pricing for local dealerships. So in this case, you would click there, and now you're going to have to enter in some of your information. So first off, you have to enter in your email address. Now, one thing about entering your email address is that you're going to get blasted, okay? So I would definitely just create a throwaway Gmail account that I would use for this specific purpose because I think when I created an account for this, I like immediately got about... 10 or 11 emails and I think that they were also coming in after that uh, maybe each day so you don't want to flood your personal Gmail account now one thing I do want to say about the email process is that yes you are going to get blasted by a lot of dealerships but you can actually use this to your advantage so one strategy that I discovered through the book I will teach you to be rich which is a pretty awesome uh, finance book in my opinion especially for beginners is this idea of efficiently purchasing a vehicle by copying all of these different dealerships on a single email. So in this case, if you're using this portal, you'll have the contact information for all of these different salesmen at all of these different dealerships. So what you could do is just round up all of these email addresses, put them all in a you know visible CC field and send them all a email. So maybe you send this out to you know 10 or 11 different dealerships telling them like, hey, this is what I want to buy and I'm looking for the best price. Now, I've never personally done this before, but I do think it could work if you are really specific with what you're looking for. So you, you don't wanna just send out some really vague general email about a, a car you're looking for. You wanna be really specific. You wanna give them um, you know, a specific vehicle, a year uh, with uh, specific features that you're looking for. You probably would be uh, best to tell them that you've already test driven the vehicle and give them a time frame. So like you're looking for, you know, to make this deal within the next 24 to 48 hours or something like that. Just the more specific information that you can give them, um, the more serious that they're going to take your offer and see you as a real buyer who's actually going to buy something. And so that will increase your odds of getting responses. So I don't think that every dealership is going to respond to a mass email like that but you probably will get a few hits which can just make things a lot easier to get started so that's one kind of um, benefit that I think this program can offer is this kind of efficient way of car searching so I'm just gonna walk you through some of this and then obviously I'm just putting in some BS here um, and just trying to get through to show you. So step three is gonna ask you to choose to be contacted either via phone and email or just email. Now, even if you select only contact me by email, you do still have to put in your phone number. And then finally for step four, you're gonna to need to put in your home address. Now, once you complete the four steps with your contact information, you can finally view the actual dealerships. Now, after you finish the four steps and input all of your contact information, now you can actually see the prices for the local dealerships. So depending on where you're searching, what vehicle you see, you may see you know, a couple of dealerships. In this case, three different Jeep dealerships show up. And what I'm able to do is I can click on the actual vehicle and it will show me more details about the pricing. So here you can see the MSRP is listed and then the true price is listed at 42598 and it also gives you some specs and details um, and some more information about incentives and all of that awesome confusing things that dealerships try to screw you over on. Now, one interesting thing about this is that you can find the stock number and the VIN number on this website, which allows you to go to the dealership's website and then search for this exact vehicle to see what it's listed at. And that's when things got a little bit interesting. So the first vehicle that I clicked on was a white Jeep Grand Cherokee with the true price listed at $42,367. And I located the VIN number and then went and found this vehicle at that dealership and saw that the final price listed there was $41,836. So it was cheaper than the true price listed. And I also did this again for another Jeep Grand Cherokee and found that the uh, final price listed was actually 
significantly cheaper. So over $1,000 cheaper in this case. And I went ahead and searched a couple more and it was the same thing. Just because you use the Amex auto purchasing program, that doesn't mean that you can't take advantage of the lower prices found at the dealerships. I see no reason why you would be disqualified from those in any way. But I do think that it is worth noting that the prices listed on the Amex auto portal are actually higher than the final prices listed at the dealerships. And real quick, I know that there are these conditional discounts listed on the dealership's webpage, but I'm just completely excluding those from this conversation because I feel like those are just kind of like these shady discounts that most people probably can't get. So this just means that if you want to use the Amex Auto Purchasing Program, you definitely want to do some independent research to verify these prices at different dealerships just to make sure that you are getting one of the best prices that you can find. Now with this program, you actually get some post-purchase benefits, which are pretty interesting. So you can get up to $2,000 a year in savings for these different perks. Now the first is auto repair expense and reimbursement. So you can get reimbursed for 20% of your payment made to repairs for your vehicle. And this will cover up to a $500 reimbursement on repairs and it even includes parts and you can use this up to two times per year. Now there also is an auto deductible reimbursement. So when you file a claim with your insurance company, you can get reimbursed up to $500 on that deductible up to two times per year. Now, if you want to take advantage of these perks, you do have to register your purchase within 45 days. So you'll have to go back to this portal and then walk through the registration steps, which include things like inputting in your VIN number and things like that. It seems pretty straightforward, but if you wanna take advantage of the perks, you absolutely have to remember to do this step. I also wanna say that buying a car with a credit card can be a little bit tricky. So a lot of dealerships will limit you to certain amounts. So in this case, you're guaranteed to be able to put at least $2,000 on your credit card, but a lot of dealerships are gonna limit you to something like a total of $5,000 although some may allow you to put much more, possibly the entire vehicle on a credit card. So there are certain steps and things you can do to navigate that process. And I actually put an article together uh, with a lot of tips on that. So if you wanna find out more just about buying a car with a credit card in general, be sure to um, check out that article that I put together. So that's all for the Amex Auto Purchasing Program. I think it's an interesting portal to use. I like the idea of it just making the process searching for a vehicle more efficient, makes it easier to find different contacts at dealerships, but I am a little bit weary of the fact that the prices listed on the portal are not as low as the final prices listed at some of these dealerships, but that just means that you need to do a little bit more research to verify that you're getting the best deal. I also like the post-purchase benefits with getting reimbursed on things like repairs and deductibles. I think that's a, a nice way to save. So I would definitely look into this program if I were thinking about buying a car, especially if I wanted to put the down payment or a portion of the down payment on a card. So I hope that you found this video helpful and informative, and hopefully I can get into a more regular posting schedule here pretty soon. But for now, thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching.